What up there guys? So yeah, here it is, this next vid. Alright, before all of you zombie lovers out there grab your pitchforks and torches, you know, mobbing it up, angry style, for the throwdown of the title of the video, I've seen why Dying Light's my favorite and why I think it's the best zombie game I've ever seen. Well, that's not in the title, but that's my opinion. So this is 100%, you know, me talking about it. Uh, I've made two videos on Dying Light in the past, uh... Dying Light is by far an incredible game, alright? And I've played plenty of other zombie games, and there's plenty out there. Dying Island, Left for Dead, Resident Evil, and a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of other, other, other ones that exist out there. Now, most I've heard of, like, you know, The Last of Us, that's a game where they try to come close to realistic zombie killing and stuff. But Dying Light is, well, in my opinion, out of... A lot of the zombie games I've ever played, and it's my favorite game, is by far the best zombie game I've come to see realistic closely. In my opinion, now, don't get me wrong, the grappling hook part, that's not realistic, but everything else about it would be realistic. I could see having to learn to do parkour and climb on stuff to get away from zombies to survive. Like, we would, like, I could see you actually having to be taught that to survive in the world of zombies. Things are different. You have to be taught stuff like that. And, yes, you can argue The Walking Dead, but come on. The, the Walking Dead? Really? We're going to base this on The Walking Dead. Half of the stuff in that show, I don't think would happen, but it, I guess it happens. Like, the group of people, like, what, in the last thing I saw of them, like, you remember a cop of this group? Who are like using zombies, stacking bodies, and blocking all these areas. And The Walking Dead is sometimes really unrealistic with stuff uh, that would happen. And how people would handle the situation. Um, like, you know, a lot of it is just not what they usually do. But, you know, not... Uh, even the comics, though, I have to give them credit for that. That at least somewhat comes actually close to realistic, re, um, realistic, more realistic in the show... Well, that's just way off my opinion. But, alright, Dying Light. You know, the game looks... The graphics for it actually make it look like it's a realistic city. That makes it look so real. And the part of it that's real is the way the zombies act. Uh, the way the sound... I mean, say, walk dead to sound, but not like them. Um... I could see if you, every time you use a gun in Dying Light, um, a super special zombie comes at you and starts running at you and attacking you. Anytime you use a gun. In that situation, yes, I could see that happening. Like, completely. You use a gun, zombies are going to come after you, you know? Um, and in Dying Light, when you're killing zombie, zombie after zombie, zombie, zombie after, you're clearing out an area, it feels like. They really make it feel like that, and that's something special in a game, and I love that. The way they do the virus, the infection, the way they go about the entire story would completely work for a realisticness to zombie-like. And they said they tried to make this like a realistic zombie, if zombies are real. And it comes very close and pinpoint to it, in my opinion. Even the super zombies, you know, and... Why is it think crazy to think that super zombies exist? And the way they go about with super zombie stories kind of makes sense. And the emotional feels in this game are more emotional attachment than any zombie game I played. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Dead Island, and I played that... I beat Dead Island within, like, uh, not even a week. Like, I destroyed that game. And people said it took them months to beat it. I beat it in, like, three days or something. I don't know. I was very into it. And this Dying Light, I haven't even completed it yet because I played on my brother's uh, Xbox One and I can't play it that much, but I'm getting an Xbox One and the only game I care to get for the Xbox One, I don't care if it's the only game I get, is the Dying Light. A Dying Light is the best zombie game I've ever played and one of the best games I've ever played in my life. The graphics, the way they do it, the music, oh my goodness, the music, the way it is in the background is perfect. Maybe I can show you an example on screen, I don't know. Oh, it might not be there. If it's not there, then I didn't do it. But if it is there, then you're listening to it now. But they do it so perfectly, you know? And one thing that I really want to see in a lot of zombie games half of the time is um, weapon creation. And weapon creation by far is the best thing I've ever seen on this game. And finding stuff on zombies... 
That would be realistic. You could find stuff on other people just because they're zombies. You don't know what they had on their body before you lost them. Cash, shops, still a thing. Like, a lot of it all works out in a, in a sense, and it all is awesome, and it's very well done. Dying Light, and you may be saying Dead Island. It's like Dead Island and Far Cry 3 mix, but it took all the parts of Dead Island that were kind of the realistic stuff and the uh, Dying Light took from Far Cry 3, like the um, the looting stuff and somewhat of the story style and the gameplay style. Now, the only realistic thing I said was grappling hook, but I gotta say, for any game of zombie that isn't realistic, um, the grappling hook, one of the best things I have ever seen. I love that grapple hook. Alright, I'm gonna lie. The grappling hook makes the game so worth it. Oh my goodness, you just grab on and stuff is so cool. Um, helping people is also realistic. Just everything about it I can see being realistic. I'm sure a lot of people can for the people that play the game. And I know the game's old, but I can't... I'll replay that game every day. Like, they need to make... I heard they're making a second one, so... Dying Light isn't dying. Uh, I made a pun. Yeah, I know. Bad pun. Alright, bad pun. I made a bad pun. Don't you know I'm a bad pun, Mike? Okay? Yeah, I know. Bad pun. You know? But Dying Light is... Very fun. Very well put together and very close to, uh, if you think about it, besides the gravel hook, zombie wise, realistic. Um, getting around, realistic. D doing weapons, doing missions, all that stuff's realistic. And, you know, super zombies, now the big one that charges at you, I don't know if that's realistic, but. Um, they took the super zombies uh, from Dead Island, but they made them so much better. But I will have to give credit where credit is due. And when it came down to it, in my honest opinion, Dead Island had a... If you want a harder zombie game, then go for Dead Island. Um, in Dead Island, there's these zombies that have, like, bones for arms. And they run, like, sonic speed. And they run at you and start stabbing you with, like, the little bone arms. It's one of the hardest zombie th things in a game, zombie game ever I've ever played. Like, it is difficult. It ain't easy. Like, when I say difficult, it is difficult. Okay? Dead Island, the anger that that game gave me is insane. I never have gotten that frustrated on Dying Light. Dead Island, however, on the other hand, I died so much that I just, I got that rage that made you want to break the game, that makes you just want to just, uh, but you can't do that, because it'd be waste money. But, you know, Dead Island is a lot more harder and more of a challenge than Dying Light. Now, if you're looking for a good, realistic game to chill out and play Dying Light for zombie-wise, if you want a hardcore and to go pro at a zombie game, Dead Island, it's just, just Dead Island, all right. Just, just do it, all right. The story is fairly difficult. I beat it, but it took. I didn't even. I beat it on normal. There's no way I don't think I could ever beat that crap on hard. But I've played Dead Dying Light on Nightmare and stuff. So yeah. So in general, that's why I think well, Dying Light is the best zombie game, and it's also why it's my favorite game. This is all an opinion. I could be wrong, but that's just what I think. And yeah, so that about does it. Let me know, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. And if you disagree, why? And also, what's your favorite game and slash zombie game? And if you don't want to do that, the comment, epic. All right, guys. Peace. That about does it. And yeah. See you. See you later. I do not own any of the music or pictures in this video. All rights go to the makers.